All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it's turned on. We do that by pulling it over. You notice that the light turns on just a little bit right here. We're going to go down and we're going to turn this to 10. It gets much brighter. Now we're, it's already on 4, but we can turn this around like so. That's how you turn it. Okay, it's on 4. We're going to come up here. This is the letter E. We're going to click on it. It comes down onto our stage. We have our stage or slide clips holding it. Now we have course adjustment right here. We have fine adjustment. And we have an X and Y. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move this down a little bit so that we can see the letter E. And we're going to move this up and over so that the letter E becomes illuminated. Okay, you see it's right there. Now we're going to move this all the way up. And we're not going to worry about the fine adjustment currently. Okay, once we have it looking like this, we are going to come over here and switch views. Now you can see that there's two circles and they're not aligned. So the first thing you have to do is you have to align those circles. So we're going to just pull just like this. So you pull it until the two circles line up. You'll also notice that there's a ruler in the center. Once we've done that, this is our field of view, no letter E. So we're going to come over here. Course adjustment was all the way up, so we are going to click on it. Ah, there it is. Go again, it disappears. So here's our letter E, and there's a red circle. That is the area that we want to view. First thing we're going to do is move this to the center of the field of view. Okay, so that's in the center. Now we're going to use fine adjustment to bring it into focus. Okay, you can see that changed a lot. We had all that right here. We have all of this artifacting on the slide. So we're going to bring this down. All right, so it's in the center of the slide, pretty focused. We are now going to change it to 10x. So that's the green one. I'm going to roll this that way once. Okay, so there's our 10x. We can adjust the focus any that we want to. Okay, so we're going to leave it just about there. It's still in the center of field of view. I'm actually going to move it so that this red circle is in the center. Okay, the red circle's in the center because that's where I want to look. Uh, now we're going to go to the 40, so we're going to rotate it once, and now this is the 40x, so we can bring this into view or focus a little better. Now if you take this and you move the condenser, okay, it's brighter, darker. So anywhere along here, we're going to move it so that it's all the way to bright. And as you can see, you can see the letter a little better. We can focus it. Okay, then we're going to go to 100x. There we go. We can just see a little bit of it. If we move this around, there's the red circle. During the mitosis lab, you're going to have to get really good at navigating around using this because you're going to have to count all of the cells that are in mitosis within the whole red circle, not just the field of view, the whole red circle. All right, so that's how you basically use it. Um, we're going to go back to the 4x. Now, we can adjust the condenser a little bit. Should be able to see that red circle when it comes into, there we go. All right, and then we're going to switch views. There's the microscope again. All right, and so that is what you need to do.